create some major problems on that side. That's really unfortunate. See if I can come in here and fix that up. That's what happens when this copper bends when you try to take a flake off. salvage it right here. go as planned. Alright, so that's the first size. You see I got a step right there. I'm going to go ahead and work the other side with the same uh, procedures.
the other side is coming along. I'm not going to talk much on this side because I don't want to screw it up like I did right here on the other side. Hopefully I can get that off when I flute it, but it's just enough to aggravate me. are real fun to make once you get to the pressure flaking part. Personally I can't stand doing the percussion work on them. I don't know why I just don't care much for it. I just want to skip right to this. find it much more fun. They're always challenging put all this work into them and then make one mistake and sometimes it's real hard to recover because every flake you take determines the success or the failure of the flake that follows. So if you get a bad one in there like I did, sometimes it's real hard to cover up your mistakes or recover from it completely. Usually you only get one chance. We're not doing multiple passes of pressure flakes on here. We're just doing one set of flakes and that's it. We take what we get. time we spend on these preparations the better the flakes come off. Pretty good example. A good flake right there. Came off nice and clean. You see how these flakes are all one after the other kind of running into each other. That's a perfect example right there of what we want.